Shalom Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophleakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of Falsai goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So, this is Brother Yakal, a month for the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, This Truth is Highly Viable. I was going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmon Shai. You know, I'm going to start with the book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 33. And it reads, Oh, the death of the rich is both for the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out, right? You know, so, you know, this is a scripture to prove that, you know, this truth is the real riches. It's the true riches, you know, uh, knowing, having this Wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know, knowing the prophecies, you know, because, you know, anything, anything that's rich, you know, is highly valuable, you know, so this knowledge that we have is highly valuable, man, because when all hell break loose, you know, the, the elect men and the Lord, Lord, when we part of that, you know, we're going to be highly valuable because we know what's going on, you know, because we know that this is the Lord's judgment in the earth. You know, when Jacob's trouble come and ultimately, you know, the destruction of this place, man. You know, because as it says in Proverbs 11, 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Now, this is talking about your tangible riches, you know, such as, you know, your gold, your silver, you know, um, FRA notes, you know, um, you know, cattle, livestock, you know, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, you know. Whatever currency you have, whatever form of riches you have, that's not going to profit you in the day of wrath. You know, it says, but righteousness delivered from death. Yeah, so by you being part of the elect, you know, and obviously me, you know, being chosen before the foundation of the world, that's going to deliver you from death. That's going to deliver you from the second death, which is the lake of fire, which, gonna, which is uh, when America be destroyed. <clears throat> by the ICBM missiles, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, your tangible riches is not going to profit these people in the day of Yahweh by Shemal Shai's wrath, you know, but by this truth being highly valuable, you know, the elect will have this truth which will make them highly valuable, you know, because when you go to um, Isaiah 13, verse 12, and the reason I will make a man more precious than fine gold, you know, and this is talking about the elect man and the Lord, you know, we know gold is very precious. Gold is very, it's high, highly valuable, you know, so that's how the elect man and the Lord is going to be in Jacob's show because the Lord uh, is, going to, is going to be provided for brothers, man, you know, while the whole world is starving, dying of, of, of starvation and, you know, uh, just catching hell. The elect men and Lord is going to be good. You know, they're going to be eating and drinking and, you know, uh, 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 being in the spirit of uh, being merry, you know, and rejoicing because they know, because they see the downfall of the enemy Esau and they know Yahweh Shai going to come back. It, it, it's, it's about to come back. You see? So it says, even a man that the golden wears your old fear, man. You know, so by the elect men and Lord obtaining this truth, which is high valuable. Um, by default, that will make the elect, the, the man, valuable by having his knowledge. You know, because as Yahweh Shai said, to all it is not given. You know, so to all Israel is not given this knowledge, this truth. You know, so it's only given to the elect. So um, that's that's uh, how you valuable. That's the treasure. You know, when something is not easy. Um, you know, for like a, like I was saying, treasure. You know, this truth is likened to a treasure. Um, a treasure is not for everyone's eyes. 
you know, it's only for a, a select a few, you know, and that's how this knowledge is for the elect. But this is uh, James 2 and 5. It says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not yet how it chosen the poor of this world rich in faith. Yeah, so, you know, the poor of this world are the prophets. You know, it's not talking about, you know, a, a hobo on the street begging for change. You know, it's talking about the prophets, you know, that just get their daily bread. You know, they're not laboring to be rich here, you know, uh, carnally. You know, they just, they, they, they get in and get out, you know, but, um, you know, work a regular job, nine to five, you know, have a roof over their head, car, if their brothers got cars, you know, but they're rich in faith. That's the main part, you know, rich and believing in Yahweh Shimon Shai and no matter what happens, you know, standing so steadily for the name of the Lord, that's what make them rich. You know, not um, not taking the um, not willing to take the MOTB uh, and plan on technology that will go in your hands or your forehead, according to Revelation thirteen sixteen. The elect is not going to take that, so that will make them highly viable to the Lord because they're going to put their full trust in the Lord. You see, it says, "In heirs of the kingdom, which He had promised to none, then that love Him." Yeah, because the elect is going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. You know, and the Lord loves as he like, you know, because the Lord, uh, the elect is, is highly uh, favorable in the eyes of the Lord, you see. And we go to Psalms 119 and verse 98. Thou, through thy commandments, has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me, you know. So this will makes a man of the Lord highly valuable, you know, knowing the, uh, knowing how the enemies, uh, the characteristics of the enemies, such as Esau, Edom, these heathens, even two-thirds of our people, you know, because before we didn't know this knowledge, so we didn't know, you know, like my brother Yahweh Sop always say, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we, you know, most of us, you know, lived in the hood. We thought the nigga next door was our, our greatest enemy, but nah, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, these heathens, and they are, they are our biggest enemies. And of course, too, there's a people as well, the wicked Israelites, you know, so, you know, the Lord has made made us wiser than our enemies, man. You know, now we know how to, how to maneuver through Babylon. Now we know how to, um, now the Lord blesses with discernment, you know, to, to, to know when we're in a bad or good situation, you know. So, you know, that's being highly valuable right there, you see. And we go to Proverbs 8 and verse 11, it says, For wisdom is better than rubies, because rubies is very precious, precious stone, you know. And you don't often see rubies, just as you will see like a penny on the floor, a penny is common, you know. You know, or silver, or silver is, you know, a precious um, metal, but it's common. But rubies is not so common, you know. But, but wisdom is better than that, you see, because anybody can just rob your rubies and you know, can 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 steal your uh, your rubies and stuff, but they can't steal this knowledge from you. You see, it says, and all the things I made this be desired are not to be to, are not to be compared to it. So nothing can compare to this knowledge, man. You know, no no gold, no silver, no rubies, nothing. You know. Because the word of the Lord is supreme above all, you know. And the Lord Yahweh Shai even said, um, the earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. You know, see, I was trying to find that. Um, Lord, I'm not pushing that scripture. Um, my words shall not pass away. Someone on those lines, I want to make sure I get it on them. Push of the scripture. Yeah, it says um, Matthew 24 and 35, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, In heaven and earth shall pass away, which is talking about, you know, Esau's, you know, rulership. Because Esau is in this heaven right now, you know, and, and the scripture saying, um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, that the earth abided forever, so the earth will always be here. You know, the Lord didn't create the. It's another scripture that says the Lord didn't create the earth in vain. So this is talking about, you know, Esau's reign, his rulership, his kingdom. His kingdom won't pass away, but my word shall not pass away, you know. And 
we know our, the testament of our Lord Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So, you know, Yahweh Shah, he is a word. He comes in the volume of the book. So, none of the words of the Lord is going to drop to the ground. You know, none of the words of the Lord is going to go out void. You know, all the prophecy of the Lord, which are his words, will be fulfilled in their own set point in time. You know, and uh, last scripture, Proverbs 23 and 4. Labor not to be rich, seeds from thy own wisdom. So, yeah, so at the end of the day, we're not supposed to labor to be carnally rich in the society because, you know, it comes, you know, having all that money, you know, which really these FRA notes is not real money, you know. Real money is gold, silver, livestock, cattle, precious stones, servants, you know, slaves. That's real riches. But this is speaking on riches in today's terms. Um... These FRN notes are not real riches, you know, and the scripture's talking about, you know, he that become a rich fall into the temptation of the devil, you know, so if you are calling rich, man, you're accessible, you know, e say you can easily entice you, man, to be, to become, to become wicked and, and, and more wicked, you know, because the scriptures say that the love of money is the root of all evil, so a lot of people are willing to keep their riches the carnal riches, uh, even if by means of being evil, murdering people, and you know, just to keep that, that uh, just to keep that standard in their lifestyle, you know. But you know, we're not supposed to labor to be rich, man, because all this is gonna vanish, and all these things are gonna pass away. All this shit gonna be destroyed, man. So, you know, we're supposed to labor to be rich in this knowledge, you know. So. So yeah, I can. That was pretty much it, you know. Um, I know let's kind of turn, you know, um, segue into another topic, kind of, you know. But you no, know, low is still was edifying, you know. So, um, you know, until next time, I can. Shalom.